Okay, now we will discuss the uh, 10 mark problems in a uh, vector algebra. That is your second chapter, vector algebra. See here, there are so many methods are there. First method is geometrical proofs. That means you have to prove some of the formulas used in trigonometry. Like cos of a minus b, this one you already studied in plus 1. Cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. How can you remember this formula means? If it is minus sign is there in the middle, plus sign you have to use. So, cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Next, prove that cos of a plus b. Cos a cos b, what is opposite sign? If it is plus, minus sign. Minus sin a sin b. So, two cos terms, two sin terms, in the middle you will get the opposite sign. Similarly, prove that sin of a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Next, to prove that sin of a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Next, to prove that altitudes of a triangle are concurrent. So, here in these 5 problems, cos of a minus b, sin of a minus b, same model. Only thing is small, small differences. Similarly, cos of a plus b, sin of a plus b, same model. Again, small differences are there. Okay. Next, uh, altitudes of triangle, that is separate uh, problem. So, first four problems, we will explain, I will explain cos of a minus b and also sin of a plus b. Other two, you can try on your own. Okay. Now, listen, first one, uh, prove that cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. For this, first you need to understand the diagram. See here, this is a unit circle. What is the meaning of unit circle? A circle whose radius is 1 unit. So, the length of OP, because OP is a radius. Why? Because if you take any point on the circumference of the circle and if you join to the center, it becomes a radius. So, this radius, the OP is a 1 unit we are taking. And we are plotting 2 points in the first quadrant. See, if it is a minus b problem, whether it is cos of a minus b or sin of a minus b, you need to plot the two points p and q in the first quadrant itself. So, p point you should take it as cos a comma sin a. Next, q point you should take it as cos b comma sin b. But what you should understand here, both the values are positive because in the first quadrant, all the trigonometrical ratios are positive. That point I already explained to you. Because all silver tea cups, all silver tea cups. So, all means what? Every trigonometrical ratio is positive in the first quadrant. So, these two points lies in which quadrant? First quadrant. So, first point like x, y, cos a sin a, cos b sin b. Then you draw the perpendiculars from these two points. Uh, let it meet on x axis at two points C, M and uh, L. And also angle POX is A. That means what is the meaning of angle POX? Uh, the angle made by OP with x axis. That is the meaning of angle POX. So angle POX, see here, I saw a separate diagram here. P O x, this is angle A. This is a one line I draw like this. This is angle A. Now, angle Q O x is a angle B, double line. So, what is angle P O Q? A minus B. That means, for example, this P O x is a 45 degrees. This full angle A. This B is a 30 degrees, for example. What is A minus, what is angle P O Q? this angle minus this angle. So, what it becomes? 45 minus 13. That is nothing but 15 degrees. So, that is your middle angle A minus B. So, now, how can you prove this one? This problem is sense. There are certain points you need to remember. So, what are the points uh, that we will see now? First point, take the points, take the points P and Q on the unit circle, on the 
unit circle unit circle with with the, the center at origin o center at origin o that means what these are the two points we are taking on the circumference of the unit circle with the center at origin o okay that is your first point what is your second point assume or let also you can write assume op oq makes the angles makes the angles a comma b respectively with x axis respectively with the x axis that means what this op is making angle a that's what i explained here previously this oq is making angle b that's what i explained previously so that is the thing we are writing like a statement wise assume op oq makes the angles a and b with x axis respectively or respectively with x axis that doesn't matter now third point third point you should tell about the angles what is angle pox angle pox is equal to angle a this full angle next what is angle qox angle b this is a this angle so now what is angle poq a minus b why a minus b because i already explained the same point here if this one is saying as angle a of this one is b what is the middle angle a minus b so angle pox minus angle qox then you will get the middle angle a minus b angle poq so that is your third point fourth point you should tell something about the coordinates p and q so clearly the coordinates of clearly the coordinates of the coordinates of p and q or p what is p point cos a sin a q point cos b sin b see p point cos a sin a in the same way q point also you should take it as cos b sin b next one take take i vector j vector as the unit vectors as the unit vectors along x and here we mention capital x x and y axis respectively respectively you know what is the unit vector this is a vector whose magnitude is a one unit so we are assuming the unit vector along x axis is i vector y axis is a j vector so these are the first five points you need to remember what is the first point take the points p and q on the unit circle with the center at the origin o because all these five points are almost the same for each and every problem so you should remember clearly what is your second point assume op oq makes angle c and b the positive direction of x axis next what is angle pox a angle qox b what is angle poq a minus b next you should tell something about the coordinates of point p and q in the fourth point and next you are taking i vector and j vector as the unit vectors along x and y axis now what is the next step you have to take op vector in this triangle o m p next oq vector in this triangle o q l then you have to use definition and also you have to use the value to find cos of a minus b that we will see now other five points